Uh, what up, guys? Today, um, this video, you know, journey to break even, getting our break even, gonna do back test throughout the week, kind of see what we were working with, see what you know trades could have been caught, if there was anything that we really could have caught. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get into that today with this video, but we'll start out with um. You know, so like the ideal setup we're looking for, what is the ideal setup we're looking for? In my mind, the ideal setup is like, you know, you want like I want some type of either high time frame liquidity taken. Um, I either want like high time frame, this video is going to come out of yeah, liquidity taken or a higher time frame imbalance visited. I think um, once you get those, then you can like kind of zoom in and see like you can kind of figure out where where to go from there. So like once you get the higher time frame liquidity taken, then you can you know more move to you say you zoom in right zoom in and then you're looking for you know say now we're looking for you know internal manipulation of a high of a high or low kind of now you're identifying what um, the market is doing you know which of the four is it re is it rebalancing is it hunting liquidity? Is it creating liquidity? I think there's one more. Was it hunting, creating, rebalancing, and something like that? One of those. We kind of got to figure out what it is. So let's look back at this week. Kind of see Monday. What could we? What could have been caught Monday? Um. Um. This is our week right here. All I know is I, the, the what's kind of disgusting is this weekly candle. This weekly candle, like, right here is ugly. It's disgusting. It's closed way above it. We finally inverse this, but... Don't I want this on? Yeah. Right? I forget if I want this B thing on or not. I think I do. But we're still in this weekly imbalance. Yeah. But we're still in this weekly imbalance, and this weekly candle is disgusting. I mean, it looks like it's a 600 point candle. It's a weekly doge close. You know, when, how often do you really get those? Not too often. But I don't know. It's weird. It's just like. I don't think we came back to discount. We didn't even make it back to discount. Let's go down to like Monday. Um, so we're still in this. We'll get rid of this. What are we doing Monday? Opening to the market. We're inside this range right here. What are we still inside? I agree. No news Mondays. So you're kind of looking at... I think what's also weird with Monday is... Yeah, I should probably pull up my OneNote so I can see what I took Monday too. That's a good idea. I can discuss this. Let's see. Monday was what day? For four, no. Monday the twenty first. There's no images there. Yeah. SMT bad entry looks like yeah, worst entry ever I say. Finally got the displacement CIC, then we sold off. Oh, this was in the 15 minutes. Yeah, this was fine just once we got the sell. 
get an SMT. But I feel like what's weird is like zooming out kind of looking at, you know, Monday. We're in this. You're in that four hour again. You still haven't taken buy side. I think sales are just weird. I mean, I see how I took them from the internal structure, but. Yeah. We come back. It's in this range for literally four days. I think this was the SMT here. No, I think it would have been here. I mean, it makes sense why we sold though, because this is not a real, this is not a real buy up. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? What is this buy up really? Yeah, I'm about to go back. Like, why even be able to go back to Monday? I just want to check out my entries. I've been struggling with entries for sure. So this is later in the day. You kind of just struggle buying up, respecting. And then you, you kind of get inverse. You know, this is like your first bearish confluence. You sell off. This is your internal take in. This is your change in the state. What do you think about this, Mazi? I think this is hard right here. Like, I feel like it's hard to get an entry here, right? Because, like, you know, this is your change in the state, change in a lot of things. But where is your, um, how do you enter? Do you always enter on, like, pullbacks? You know what I mean? Like, like how do you know price isn't going to come here, you know? I guess maybe this tells you right here because this is balanced. Because also, do you like look at it as the instance like, so we come back, respect this, get a change in the state, tap the change in the state, sell off completely. Do you think it's more of like a, um, you don't expect, you don't want to see price inverse this, so these fair value ups kind of don't matter. You get what I'm saying? Like if we are bearish here, right, and we are going to sell, should we not, you don't want to see price Yeah, right here. I think this was my entry like off that rejection. Yeah, exactly. It's tough, but I do think you have to get in. See if we can zoom in on the one minute just analyze structure. Yeah, we were in premium of this whole <laughs> buy up. <laughs> Let's just see if I can test the macros. What is this just buying up? It looks like you take your buy side. Do you use P? This isn't even previous day high. That's like London. What would you sell off, buy back up, chop, chop, chop? See, what I think makes these moves so hard to fully catch is like, I think it's a different story if, you know, like. You have, um, where's Tuesday? Like, you see this buy up, right? So, say, like, this is your external sell side right here, and this is your internal. Oh, this is what I missed Tuesday. Yeah, I remember perfectly now. I am totally missed this, almost missed it again. Yeah, really just in the range. But Tuesday, I can't believe this. I don't know what was wrong with me Tuesday, but I just missed this SMT right here. Tuesday was the worst trading day ever for me. But I missed this SMT right here. And that's what causes buy up. I mean, you have this SMT, and then you inverse this hourly. Yeah, 
Yeah. And you would never disrespect this right here. Never disrespect this. Inverse this hourly. Let's zoom in and see if we find an entry. I feel like I need to sharpen my entry. So we're waiting for 945, 950. Yeah. What's your entry model odds? See, that's imbalance plus order block. Yeah. My thing is, like, I'm in a weird area right now where, like, I feel like I need to wait for 950 to take a trade. You know what I mean? But in reality, like, I need to. Yeah. Because, like, market open opens, we manipulate down into this imbalance. You have your SMT, you have your inverse at 9. Like we come down, manipulate down to the fucking discount of this leg, slap long. You know, like you could do, put it at discount. I think this was an SMT right here too, if I'm pretty sure. Uh, do you think this is a valid trade right here? I think it's something I missed, but I think I need to be more aware of it. I think I am going to go back to, it's weird, like five micros here, right? That's a 210 stop loss, but let's see what one big con... Yeah. But like, right here, like let's see what um, one big con would have been. Right now I have to go to micro because I'm in drawdown, which is fine, but. Like 415, that's not bad, I guess. I don't think if we wait for a discount, but usually I have my stop at that and I already got stopped out and then But you could be more cautious, pull back, like wait. Pull back inverse. Internal change in the state. What's the risk then if you if you enter off, you know, you need to change the state? So you enter um, here in your stops, you know, then you can have it at this body. It's still the same risk, like why not? Probably the same RR too. Let's go to Wednesday now. Yeah, this I'm not gonna be on here long. I just wanted to do a, a little back test session. Kind of just feel like this week was a tough trading week for me. And in general, I stopped averaging positions by trading. What do you mean exactly? Like stopped averaging positions by trading with order flow. Oh, like zooming in and finding where price should not revisit. Kinda. Like where. Yeah.
that's like you finding the protected low or the protected high kind of and oh I do remember Wednesday you know this was see like, this isn't my model but this was Wednesday Wednesday was weird All Wednesday was, was you were selling off after taking buy side, right? You were expecting this external draw or this internal. And all you do is, um, like, I don't think there's much of an entry here either. I don't know what you, what do you think? Because all it was is, right, market opens, manipulates straight to, um, Just manipulates to that 15 minute imbalance, wicks it. I think this was an SMT right here, though, so this would be your soup. But I think it's more. I'm kind of starting to see that. There's a lot of entries at market open almost. But I don't think this is a really probable trade. Because, like, Okay, you take all this liquidity, right? You come up, you turtle soup this SMT. Unless you're trading the soup and entering off this wick, right? You don't really know that's going to stop price. So it's like where in here? And maybe if you come in and like, you don't even take this high. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah. No, I know. The thing was, it's so weird about Wednesdays. Like, so I took a trade up here on my demo at like 6 p.m. or something, and I went short because like this was my draw on liquidity. And then like I come into market open, and I'm like wanting to go long now. Weird. Thursday is disgusting. Dude, Thursday was pissing me off, man. Because it was a clear draw. Yeah, because this is like a big four hour imbalance right here. Somewhere over here. How did you do Thursday? Thursday pissed me off. I remember this. Thing was that was weird though is like we came and took these loads. We took them on both, and I expected to see lower, but then we ended up running it. But we did end up getting the push lower eventually, just not for a while, because we also opened up. Uh, um, we opened up a uh, what? Uh, um, down on the one minute. I took two entries here. What do you think about these? What's your opinion? First was we come up, I think we wick this like 15 minute or something. I wait for all this internal to get swept long. Yeah. But like we come in, we sweep internal, we inverse one minute, right? This is telling me price is ready to go. We come down. This was like, I thought this was a great entry. We come back up into discount, generate three lows. We have a low here, we have a low here. Low here, low here. We come back up after that, right? We inverse, we come back up to discount of this range. Yeah. No, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. We come up, we chop, we sweep internal SMT right here. Then we get change in the, no, it wasn't a change in the state, I guess. I think my entry was right here. Once we inverse this, yeah, we inverse this and create a small one minute right there. And I go short with my stop like here. And I get stopped out. So I think I did discount of this move, yeah. Yeah, but then eventually we get that push off. But this is kind of the example of Justin. I think he took this trade, and he entered like on this pullback of this inverse, 
and just had to stop, you know, at this high. But, like, you could do that, but I just don't want to deal with this for that long. You know, I, mean, I either want it to hit or not hit. Because if that's the case, I'm in this barcode-ass trade until... I think then I re-entered off this. Um, down here. I thought my re-entry was amazing, honestly. We come down and displace through these two lows, right? We have this just external low. We finally get clean displacement. And I just want to pull back to discount. Yeah, 100% I did. And this was my next trade. Instantly stopped out. That's something I'm trying to get better at is like having a protected high, you know what I mean? Or like, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard though. Interesting. Yeah, what was today? Just a buy up right at market open? Is that all that was today? Today looks like you could have found something. Yeah. I mean, this makes sense. You expect a rebalance to at least discount of that huge buy up. Like, that's a protected eye. Kind of like a strong wick is going to be a protected high almost. This trade's kind of clean here. How do you draw your order blocks? Move down prior to the move up? No. Wouldn't this be a breaker here? Move down prior to the breaker structure down. Just a move, move up, down, yeah. Okay. I think something I do wrong is I get way too zoomed in like this, I'm watching this structure. When in reality, I should like just look like look at the price like this. You know what I mean? Of the center candle and watch the reaction. Yeah. Like if you're looking at this, like this is pretty simple. You come up, you take external liquidity, right? This huge buy up. You start to get some structure. You build in. You take internal. And you instantly sell off, and 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 price retraces back, starts to chop in here. You know. Like, how many points is this? Like, say you're entering just off discount, you know, or like a touch of that inverse. Yeah. Then you could enter, like,
It's literally the same shit though, like liquidity taken in some sort, something taken, and then displacement, retracement, enter, continuation. I feel like that's the same shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Acting extra. The trades I took this week, like, are just. I've been doing some retarded shit on the charts. I can't even hold you. And there's no displacement here. Yeah, this was retarded. I remember this. It's just like the small things you got to clean up. There's not a sin watch by sin every day. It seems to be the only patient thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's just it's just a lack of patience. A hundred percent. Does the same exact shit every day at the same time. Around the same time. You know what I mean? Like like here, you you come up, you take this external high, you know, a lot of liquidity. You you take internal. You don't always take internal, but most of the time you're gonna take internal. Then you're gonna sell off, right? You're gonna sell off. And then it's going to retrace. And then it's going to continue to some level. Or like here. Right? You're already in your sell-off. You take the liquidity. That's why this trade doesn't work. You take the liquidity. Comes back up into discount. I feel like as I watch more and more each, each day and each week and stuff, like... The one of the most important confluence is just like discount. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. How do you feel about that? Like it seems like, like yeah, you have your order blocks imbalances that are, but in in reality, all that is is just like discount or equilibrium, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And like if you sell here, you're fucked. Yeah, exactly. Like, look, we have a big buy-up. We come back to almost discount, and we continue to hire. It's really just discount. Like, this is a good example here, too. We're obviously not going lower. We, we buy up, and what do we do? We, we retrace. Back to discount. Then we buy up. Like here's another example. You like consolidate. You sell off. You come back to discount. What's in discount? A fair value gap. Oh my god, we sell off. Oh my god, we buy back up. We buy back up here. We come back to discount. We buy up. It's freaky Loki.
Yeah, with two red folders. Let's look at this. We sell off. Do we make it back to discount? Yeah. Oh my god, we come back to discount and then we sell back off. Oh my god, we sell off. We come back to discount and we sell off again. It's interesting. That's awesome. The red floor is good. It should give us some movement. Oh my god. Morning sell off. Reversal at 10. And then we sell. That'd be fire though. I do think I am about to hop off here though. It's 8 o'clock where I am. What time is it where you again? Like fucking 17 a.m.? Gotta be late as shit. 2 a.m.? That's not bad. That ain't really left, not. But I am going to hop off here. I might do something tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But I am going to post this online. But yeah, appreciate you showing up, mods. Only one. Only true guy here. Only true one. True fan. True motherfucker. Only one. If I lie down, I won't sleep for a while. So you know. That's fair. What are you going to do? You be playing the new BO6 come out? One second. I'm going to record. Um, let me read, let me give me one second. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. This was a little back test session with the Discord, kind of just seeing the trades we missed this week, what we can get better at, and what we work on. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, feel free to join my free Discord link in the description. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Keep grinding.